Thank you for welcoming me onto your screens, onto your headphones, depending on how you're watching this. I'm Eddie, and this is The Rollback. Folks, I'm here to talk to you today about Transformers Rise of the Beasts, a.k.a. Holy shit, Transformers is good again. I excluding Bumblebee. Bumblebee was great, but like, damn. So the synopsis, Optimus Prime and the Transformers take on their biggest challenge as a new threat capable of destroying the entire planet emerges. But with the help, with the help, but with the help of the Maximals, they may be able to save Earth. So, from the start, from the get-go, this movie is fun, but not dumb fun. It is just fun. There is a lot of great action, great comedy, great sequences in here. Lots of that kind of makes sense. You can tell that this film was made by fans of the original Transformers cartoons, the TV shows, the toys. Maybe even the first Michael Bay movie, because as we all know, Revenge of the Fallen sucks. That said though, this film is is fun and they build so much. I mean to start the, the time it takes place in the 90s, it's fun. I enjoy it. I like that. And also it's a bit of a good throwback period. We've been seeing a lot of stuff being thrown back to in the 80s. It's nice to start seeing some 90s, although I'm not looking forward to the time when uh they start doing throwbacks to the 2000s and then I'll feel old. Shit. So I want to give a shout out to a lot of the performances here. Uh, so Anthony Ramos, who plays Noah Diaz, shines in this film. He's probably the best human character we've had since the original Sam Witwicky. And even then, Sam was somewhat fleshed out. He, the best version of Sam Witwicky was in the original. Like, that was the best version. He went through an arc of becoming a kid to becoming someone who was willing to do great things in spite of his fear. Whereas in the second one, he was kind of a scared bitch and then the third one just like he became a jealous guy look those said um yeah Noah Diaz is a great character and I genuinely hope we see him more in the future uh in addition to that I love Mirage I know Pete Davidson probably had fun with that film and he's just he's fun Mirage is I think my new favorite Transformer granted Bumblebee has had a lot more exposure than him so that should be saying something also, we got to see him have this like cool Iron Man suit, which I think could actually take on Iron Man, but that's a conversation for another day. Optimus is different. He's always portrayed as like this robotic leader that's just like forward, like, you know, this great leader. I like how we see in this film, one, he's dismissive of humans. Two, he's not necessarily scared, but more goal-oriented of, we just need to get home. Like, fuck these humans, fuck this place. Like, let's just get home. And I love the fact that he his arc is different in this. Even the degree of self-sacrifice where he says we could we could go home with that shard, but we're not going to. Like he steps up to the plate. You're not seeing a great leader, you're seeing an Autobot become a great leader. And that's nice. Uh the Maximals, awesome experience. Uh I loved it when uh, when Primal and Optimus Prime like teamed up. I love also the fact that the Maximals had their own, a bit of an arc, you know, they didn't overplay this film, but they were in it a lot of the beginning and a lot of the second and third act, which I greatly appreciate. I'm sorry about that. That's an alert from my computer. Shut the fuck up. Now, <clears throat> that said, um, Optimus Prime was fleshed out, Mirage was great, No Ideas was great. This film made the most of it. Also, all the Autobots had a distinct looking character that I like. They're a lot more simplified than the Michael Bay versions, but I think that's a good thing. The Michael Bay versions were like these weird, uh, overly spiky, overly complicated messes, whereas in this one, you get kind of an idea of what they look like. Uh, they're not as simple as like the cartoons, but I appreciate it. Um, the simplified designs. Also, the team, they actually flesh out the team. I felt like in all the other films, they just kept throwing out fucking random cars plus Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. Whereas in this one, it feels like we have a solid team going forward. But this one is a little weird because we have like callbacks to like Age of Extinction. But then there's also like Unicron, which was retcon. So I'm not quite sure where they're going with this. But there is a great uh, ending scene that no one's going to expect. Uh, also, real quick, no ideas. I forgot to mention this. He feels relatable because he faces real people problems. Uh, in this film in particular... His brother is sick and they can't afford the medical health care he needs. Which, in America, that shouldn't be a fucking thing, man. It shouldn't be a fucking thing. Sorry. Hashtag socialism, I'm just saying. Or hashtag Medicare for all, go Bernie. Anyway, that said though, this film, Thrall Out, was a lot of fun. Um, 
from No Ideas to Elena, played by Miss Dominique, Dominique, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Dominique Fishback. Great, great performance all the way through. It felt like the human characters in this film had something to do, had something to work with, and progress the story forward. So props to them in this capacity. This film is just a lot of fun. As far as cons are concerned, I know a lot of people are bitching about the third act and how there's too much plot convenience, to which my response is, you're watching a Transformers movie, what the fuck do you expect? At least it's fun and in a good way, and we have great characters to follow rather than a crappy story. I, I don't know, I'm happy with what they did and what they were able to do, and I'm really looking forward. I didn't see Bumblebee in theaters, I watched it on TV on Voodoo. This film I did watch in theaters, and I'll be honest with you, if they continue in this trajectory, I can't wait to see the next one. I'm interested to see where they go next, especially with that uh, potential crossover we might be seeing, but I'm not going to spoil anything. But anyway, this film is an A for me. Uh, what did you think? Go ahead and comment down below. Do us a favor, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all later. See everybody.